Can you say hard hats, folks? Hard hats, lunch pail, steel to a boots? Anything short of a championship this year is a failure. Look real. at this boomer right here. You've just got so much talent here. Somebody said we need to apologize for Jalen. Can I close it, John? What are we apologizing for? What do we say? What do we do? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there we go. Amit's, Amit's locked in. <laughs> Sunday grooving. Amit. Sunday Amit. Sunday Amit. I saw Is Saturday Am Amit. He was locked in oh, Saturday, you... too. Oh, where'd you see Saturday Amit? Can't say. Oh, secrets? Uh, off, off camera, maybe I could tell you about it. I don't want the people to know where he where he, where he he yeah. is. You know what I mean? Fair enough. He's, the, I, I, he's I, behind the cloak. I get it. Let's just I say I saw it. him out and about. Good. He deserves it every once yeah. in a while. We he do needed, let him out break. every once in a yeah. while. He said he was able to come out of the cage for, for a couple hours. Yeah. Nick let yeah. him out. Yeah. with, uh, with we, we got a little low jack on his ankle, though. Um, Amit's a Westfall supporter, so I got to say that about Amit. He, he he comes to the gigs, and he he's, he's a good, good friend, good supporter of the good, good, the good. music scene. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so good, you know, don't worry. You're not interrupting our St. Patty's day plans. We're glad you guys could join us. Uh, we're not going anywhere after this. We're here to do the show. Um, but, uh, you know, Jimmy did most of his drinking during Happy the day. Happy St. Patrick's good. day. Yeah, yeah, I got it out. I got it out there. I was at, um, where was I? I was at, um, Warren Tavern today. Charlestown's best. Warren Tavern. Yeah. Historic. Jimmy's been... Jimmy's been drinking for uh, for hours and hours, and um, days, he's good yeah. now. Yeah, days. Yeah, he's yeah. He, Jimmy drank so early he's hung over now. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have, I have, I already have anxiety for Monday already. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Jimmy, is there any is there any Irish in there, or it's 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 predominantly? Oh um, no, I have yeah. a little bit of Irish from my mom's side. My dad, my dad's all the Italian. My mom's got a few different things going on with a little bit of Irish. So. Yeah. I, you know what, no, John, on, on St. Patrick's Day, like everyone's got a little Irish in them, right? Like there's not zero percent that does. Yeah, you, know, you, you got a little bit though. On, on no, like it's confusing me. <laughs> Everyone no, knows somebody who, like, yeah, I got a little bit of our cousin, you know, like a little Irish 10%. Nah, if, some, if something yeah. seeped into my situation, it was probably those, it's probably the Turks that got, that some got us. Saw bagpipes today. Yeah. You don't get that often, but no bagpipes were, uh, were piping. The, the bags were piping today pretty hard. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Um, Speaking you know of I'm Irish. Gonna... Yeah. Celtics. Cel Celtics do some things. Uh, and there we go. Uh, that's our post game show. That's it. They did a lot of things. Sam Hauser did a lot of things from beyond that three point line. I've we've seen in our lives, Jimmy, tons of tanking teams, you know, that knew they were mailing it in to start the season. Yeah, but usually tanking is a franchise decision, which is I'm not going to put a team out there worth winning that that, that I expect to win because I don't want to win. Um, I, you know, I so you basically assemble a team with the least chance of winning a lot of games so you can get a good draft pick and whatnot. I've yeah. never seen players quit. Um, as as early <laughs> as the Wizards did and have this season. And again, when your best player is Jordan Poole, I guess you kind of lead by example there. But this team right. checked like, what out. Did you expect? This right. team legit checked out in October. Like they're just, they uh, were never a the good team. saddest thing I've ever seen. The Pistons lost like 70 games in a row. And I'm like, yeah, the Wizards are way worse. You know, like <laughs> yeah. this is the this is the worst team I've ever seen. This is the worst team I've ever seen. I swear. I swear it is. I, I I know it's like a recency bias and you know, hyper, I I don't know that I've ever seen anything like this. This this is unbelievable. Celtics confidently sat three starters and won by a hundred. Like there was no threat of losing. No, I mean different Wizards team than the one we saw. What like a, like um, last month February, Kispert went off and looked like uh, MJ out there. Um, yeah, th this team's. They're a dead team, dead team walking right now. And, and there's this, this, is what this we're it's, it's not, is it, I don't know how much of it is the, this is what fault. we're talking about on a night like this. What are you I doing mean, here? Are you, are you lost? Are you lost, little fella? Drake May is not the guy. 
Yeah, you want to talk to uh, Taylor Kyles? Uh, what's that? What's you know? When's he going live? He's over on the other channel. Yeah, he might be the there one. right now. He's probably he's probably just tweeting into the abyss right now. You can go chat with him there. Maybe we'll do some Pat's talk at the end if we want to kill five minutes. Um, off season yeah. chat. I want John. I want your off season. You're not your off season. Your free agent grade at the end of the at the end of the show. People hate. I'll when give we start you my take. Pats. I'll give you my take. I'll give you my take. Um, I never we'll blame the players that. for tanking, John, because like, what's what's in it for them? You know, these guys are yeah. playing for money. They're you know playing for a contract. Their futures are on the line, but they're just they're just not good enough. You know, I mean, it comes down to the roster is trash, and you know, even a guy like Kuzma's not out there. If, if you consider him a guy that can do something for you, um, cool. You know, cool my it, number one take, my cool number one takeaway tonight, Jimmy. The guy who wants his what? Uh, Larry Bird was in a friggin' really bad commercial. I saw that commercial. It was just good I, to see Larry Bird. I'm not gonna call it, it bad. I'm glad he's alive. Um, well, here's my and, question. You know, we we saw him in Indianapolis. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> here's my question: Has Bird just never been offered like a commercial, or did somebody finally like just give? Dude, him are a you bag kidding? He had that? the he had a classic commercial. With I mean, Magic. in the last twenty years. Yeah. I mean, like because we haven't seen the guy, but now off he's the, just off the commercial. backboard, off the scoreboard, nothing but net. Right. Also, the Converse weapon shoe. The Converse weapon wrap was one of the yeah. great commercials of all time. It's good to see Larry Bird. John, you, you can answer this better than I can't answer it, but like Larry Bird could have could have owned this city like after retirement. Like what 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 is it about Larry Bird that just he just didn't like Boston or he's just like uh he just hates being in the no, public no, eye? no 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 the story the story whether it's a story or this not this guy could have had it all was he wanted to run the whole show and uh they didn't let him and that was that. Like he wanted to run it all, and instead he went to Indiana, and he's like, "All right, I'll just do that here." Um, you think he would make but, some trips back once in a blue moon, like you know, kiss babies? Now he's just a private you know, guy. He's just a private. Sit guy. on a parade or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Every, everyone yeah. loves Larry Bird. You've That's never heard one one guy say anything bad about Larry Bird in Boston, but he probably hasn't stepped foot in the city in like I don't know twenty years. Yeah, who knows? But anyway, as far as the game goes, um, <laughs> how's are getting an X ray? Um, Bobby just yeah. tweeted no yeah. more tomorrow. Um, not great. Um, I'm not going to call it karma, but it was kind of, you know, you screw around a little bit. I, it was fun. They wanted to get him the record. They wanted to get him clay's record and it was fun watching him light it up. And it's not saying they got him hurt, but like he got hurt with them looking for him on every single play and the wizards starting to give him a lot of attention. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't love that. Um, because like you could tell the play before on when they dump on a screen, they, they set up two plays for, to get him those, those threes early, you know, um, you know, eight, nine and 10. And then they started, the wizards were like F that. And off of every screen, when Hauser popped free, they would send two guys at him. So I think they, yeah, they, 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 they got some pride. They got the sense they were being embarrassed. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was a freaky injury. It's not because of anything that happened there, but like. I didn't love, you know, this was kind of like, a, yeah, you tried to embarrass the Wizards and like, this is kind of what happened. I, you know, it, it's, it could have happened on any play, but it's a bummer that it did. You really hope it's not a big deal. I really, I really hope it's not a big deal. And I'm also bummed because it was a fun show to watch. Like, right. It looked like it looked he, like it he looked was like going to break it. <laughs> it looked like he could shoot. He might've shot 30 more times and not missed. Like it didn't look like any shot had any chance of missing. I don't even think he hit the rim. No, uh, he was. It, I, it was unreal. He was drunk out there. Absolutely, he yeah. was just doing his thing. Um, I, yeah. I don't, I didn't have a problem with it, John. I mean, damn. I mean, it's not like it was Tatum or Brown putting up all trying to go off on them. I mean, it's it's one of their bench guys going off, and he's hot. He's a three point shooter. He's gonna take threes. I'm not gonna punish the guy for making the threes. I mean, what's he supposed to do? Miss a couple so that they don't get upset. It's not. It's not, but they, they they drew up a play right out of the half, and yeah, then they, and he nailed they, it. They yeah. <laughs> they 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 emptied the entire playbook to get him shots. So it became they were messing around. That's the kind of stuff you might do in a fourth quarter to get a record. They were he they were going to try to get him thirty threes tonight, like, and it's fine. But like, all I'm saying, he would have is, broke the record tonight. Everyone wanted to see it, and it was fun while it happened, and it was great. But Washington clearly was like, 
I'm I'm now I'm starting to get embarrassed. The old, yeah. This might have been the first time they played hard all year. They're like, wait a say, second. They actually did care about something <laughs> this year. They, they cared about something. Uh, no. So I mean, that, that, I was like, pissed yeah, because this guy, this guy's gonna rain down on us all game, you know. I was pissed because I was gonna do. We were gonna do thirty minutes on Hauser breaking the record because there was really not much else. It was gonna to be fun. About. I wanted to see it too. Honestly, I think he might have broken it by. He might have gotten eighteen threes tonight for real. Totally. No, I agree completely. What's what's gonna happen? Let me ask. Jordan, let me Jordan ask, Poole's let me gonna ask, stop him. Stop. I'm, let me ask all the butt hurt Celtics fans right here who don't like this direction of the conversation. Why? Why? What do you care? What do you care? It happened. He got hurt. They were trying to get him a record. He got hurt. Leave it alone. It doesn't matter. Like, you cannot like it. Like, what is it? Like, oh, they did everything right. The Celtics do everything right. Everything is always awesome. It doesn't matter. Hauser will be fine. He walked off the court. I hope so. Yeah. It would be great. It'd I think it would be great. fine. Yeah. You know, if he got hurt, the, listen, the, the record, basketball, listen, yeah. the basketball gods did not want Sam Hauser to be the three point record holder. They just didn't, at least not today. It, we're not ready for it. That time may come because I can see Hauser getting hot again a couple games from now. If he's back in there, some some garbage team game that doesn't mean nothing. There's nothing left to play for in this regular season. Really? I mean, you just want guys to stay healthy. So Hauser lipping off is not the greatest thing. But it didn't seem like it was too, too bad. Um, you know, they sat Porzingis, Brown, White tonight. I mean, this is what we're gonna, this is what we're gonna get here over the next what ten games or so. What do we? How many games do we have left? So, what do they have? A nine? Guys, nine, I'm sorry, it's not a killer mean? mentality. They were taunting. They were, they were, they were, they were, they were embarrassing the Wizards even worse than they were already being embarrassed. I'm sorry, it is what it is. They were embarrassing the Wizards. They were trying to get a guy a record. They're embarrassing the Wizards. Okay, it is what it is. It, it, they did it. Everybody wanted to see them do it, myself included. They did. Everybody wanted to see Hauser get fed. It was great watching him come off screens and splash them. It was the only thing worth watching tonight. The entire planet wanted to see it happen, yet he got hurt doing it. That's what happened, okay? That's it. Yeah, the That's difference was they, they were up 30. If it was a close game, it's no issue with it. But the fact Yeah, you're, you're trying to your find point. the hot hand, and you're working right. it. You're up 30, and they're trying to find the hot hand, and the guy got hurt, you know? Yeah. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, we got a little Joe in here. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's here's a little Joe talking about Sam's injury and what he knows uh, and about the game in general. I heard anything. Uh, I know he was getting like a just a X-ray after the game, so we'll find out. How how, I think it was cautionary X-ray was what they said. So up until that point, how incredible was his game? Yeah, it was great. Uh, loved his confidence. Loved his aggressiveness. Loved how guys uh, looked for him, and I love how he got his shots within the flow of our execution. And uh, that's the, the weapon that he is. Um, you know, his ability to just put two on the ball, his ability to create open shots for himself and for other people. So it was fun to watch him shoot him. It was fun to watch his guys look for him. Now, yeah, Hauser got hurt at the Wizards bench, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Right? Right in front of the Wizards bench? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Go back I, now and look, but yeah. Did everybody miss it? He clearly stepped on somebody, right? They kept saying... I tried oh, to watch just... the replay on He kept on, saying, oh, Twitter, he was stepping back. He clearly stepped on somebody. Here we go. I'm looking at it right here. Hold on, let me... Yeah. So, he stepped on a bench player's foot on the opposing team that they were embarrassing, that didn't move to get out of his way. Yeah, he stepped on a bench player's foot. Yeah, he stepped on the bench player's foot. It does look like they did move did the guy try? Did bit. the guy try to move? It looks did like try they to tried to move his it. foot? It looks like they tried to move it a little bit, move their feet back a little bit. I didn't, okay. see, anything, I didn't see anything egregious by the bench. And also, Hauser took the shot. I didn't see him try to move. To, yeah. Hauser took the shot and then took a few, like, Further steps back after he took the shot. So it really I'm suggesting wasn't. foul play. I'm Just suggesting foul. foul play. By the way, yes, my ring light is broken. That's why I look like I'm sitting in the dark right I'm now. suggesting foul play. That's fine. You can suggest that. I mean, okay. I think how I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting they didn't do enough to get out of his way. You could be. Okay. If, in Montreal, they would, foul they would play. Have arrested. I'm. I'm calling foul play. Interesting. And the seats are really close to the court. Really close. They, they are. They are. He didn't step that far back either. Foul after, play. After he took the shot? 
He was, I mean, he was clearly out of bounds in front yep. of their bench. Coming off of. I didn't like it. I don't know, John. He kind of. Oh, okay, I'm back. sorry. Rohit, for the first time watching this show. The Celtics are so good. They beat the Wizards. Yay, they beat the Wizards. We're like, we're just trying to find something to talk about. What do you guys want to talk about? Jason Tatum was good. <laughs> Go ahead. Tatum was good. Yay. He was good against the Wizards. Yay. So good. Oh, oh man. He was so good. Yay. Tatum did his thing. He was hot in the first quarter. I mean, again, this game was over. It's a freaking G, it's a G, a, it's a G League team and pool taking logo threes, you know? Yeah, Ugh. I mean, we got some spring. We got some Springer burn tonight. We saw a little bit of Springer in there. Uh, talk know, about uh, Jalen. Should we talk about Jalen? <laughs> yeah, why do you sit, Jimmy? Weren't we supposed to be drinking for this show? We should have been. There's we no way been. we can do this. There's no drinking way we water. can do this thing. <sighs> the Mountain Valley. We we can't. There's no way we can do this thing. What are we at 16 minutes in? Oh boy. We need Bobby to get on yeah. here and tell us some BS from this one. Bobby's at the game. Bobby is yeah. in DC, folks. We this sent him to we Washington, DC, but we didn't send him to Denver. I'm getting Nick on the horn. This is we had circled on the calendar because we knew, you know, that this was gonna be good. This is gonna be a a, a barn burner. No, this is gonna be good. Uh, but again, you know, Tatum. Did what Tatum does, uh, you know, unencumbered by having to share the basketball, knowing that basically it's like, hey, go out there and just start looking for your shot early. And that's what he did. Played the whole mm -hmm. first quarter. That was good. Um, scored a ton. Rest was a Sam Hauser show pretty much. You know, what else you got from this game? Obviously, Pritchard, I think, coming off the bench was good. You know, I, I still Spee like. Spee was that. solid. Spee. You know, Svi got second quarter minutes, maybe even, maybe even first quarter minutes. Yeah, he was in there early. Yeah, had a couple, had a few threes tonight. I mean, again, like so, like the the Hauser stuff and the Pritchard stuff. Yeah, I mean, care seriously, about. we're like we're just waiting until Wednesday, aren't we, guys? You know, the Hauser and the Pritchard stuff is is meaningful because you expect to see those guys down the stretch. Svi doesn't really matter. Springer doesn't really matter. I mean, these guys that get they're getting burned. We saw a little bit of Tillman tonight. Um, which was good, you know, trying to get some extra burn for them. So, um, you know, it was just one of those games. Even even Kata got some got some minutes, a guy that we all forgot about. So um, not a whole lot. And then Brissett. Brissett earned the start tonight, John. Your guy. Your guy, Brissett. O'Shea. You Is he my care. guy? Yeah, you, you say like, yo, he's got like the energy. He's a jumper. What he's about like our third that. center? Yeah, Luke did. Luke he's the third center. He's the third was a center. What do you want from him? He's the third center. He was. Um, you did get to see uh, Cornette. Fourteen and, and uh, six for Luke. He was awesome, yeah. man. He was like there was a there was one point I feel like he was taller than the next closest guy the Wizards had out there by like seven inches. So like the play was basically just like just flipping yeah. in the air. <laughs> yep. But uh. Yeah. Yeah, he's their third center. At one point in time, there was harmony when you had Cornette and Tillman out on the court together, and Bobby didn't know what to do uh, at that at that point. But then uh, Cornette got <laughs> subbed out a little bit later for uh, for Kada, and that was that. And that was that. Yeah. What's up? Um, who do they have tomorrow? Detroit. So that's oh, going to be geez. good too. It's freaking worse I know. Somehow. Who did this to us? What's freaking worse painful. than a back to back? What than a road home back to back? <laughs> And then Detroit on Friday. So we have a buck sandwich of coming up of just shit. Pardon my French. And then bowls. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is rough. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like, take what you want out of these games. But, man, the Celtics, what, they have a nine nine point nine game lead in the standings. They're in cruise control. They could lose any one of these games coming up, except Bucks. I want them to beat the Bucks. Anything else, though, it, it – it, I've gone through the point of overreacting to losses and I, and I do care about the loss to good teams. I know, like, but so you're just, where I am now. Right. Which is like, who cares? Like they could lose to Detroit tomorrow. And I promise I'm not coming out here and, and yelling about it. No, I won't care. I will care Wednesday if they lose to the bucks. I will care about that one. And I'll care. This is, this is a good way to put it. To the thunder. 
Yeah. A Wagyu sandwich with Wonder Bread. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I would have probably said venison since it's bucks. But that's just me. Okay. Shout out. Shout out, little venison. I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, I don't eat deer or I haven't really eaten deer. Oh, yeah. Not that I wouldn't, just hasn't really, hasn't really happened. Yeah. Third center did make the bracket, by the way. We added it. Uh, just so you yeah. guys know. No, that's going to be a dark horse. Yeah. We have our, uh, we have our uh, garden report bracket. We'll release it tomorrow uh, during the game for anybody out there. Uh, yeah, and we will talk about Wednesday's game. We're just we're this is 16. what's called this in the game is what's called filibustering. Okay, yeah. we're waiting for the players and the coaches to talk and for Bobby to get here. There's just not a ton to react off this game. No one, no one's buying the Hauser conspiracy theory that the Bucks intentionally that the Bucks yeah. that the uh, what's that? What team did they play tonight? They played the Wizards, John. <laughs> that the Wizards uh, did it. You guys want me to talk about you know something else? Sure. Anybody worried about Chris Stapps? I mean, a little bit, but again, I think this is, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. I mean, you don't like a guy missing five straight, but I'm no, not. One thinks I'm not like, is deer. We're not. We think bucks are deer. Right. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm not concerned yet. Again, what's the point? What's the point in playing him uh, like right now if he's not 100% or close to it? They just won by 30. Just rest the guy. We've got a couple weeks left. He needs to be healthy. If he starts missing time, like really, if he starts to miss more and more time, then I'll start to get nervous. But right now, I'm I'm okay with it. This is maintenance. This is so we can try to avoid um, what's his name who missed time in the playoffs last year. Guard. We traded him. Celtics traded him. Not Marcus, obviously. Yeah, I'm. I, I I am. I'm trying to pick fights tonight. I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get the energy going. I'm messing around a little bit. Yeah, you're like bored. You're bored. I'm, I'm bored out of my mind. I mean, we were forced to watch Brogdon. this game. Brogdon. We're forced to watch this game now. You guys are forced to watch us be angry about having to watch <laughs> the game. I'm sorry. You know, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, a couple things I think were fun to talk about outside of like you know the Hauser stuff, which was great. Um, you know, until it wasn't, uh, Tillman in the competitive minutes that he have has continues to impress me on defense. Uh, and I still think is a playable guy. And I still think is a guy who can be important in a series down the road. I do. I would agree with that. I mean, I think that's why they traded for him and yeah, they do have the ability to keep him in future. But years, will but... they allow him to be? Yes. That's the million dollar question. Where's the trust at with Joe? We know he's probably leaning Cornette right now, it seems, uh, as far as the trust factor goes. But when Tillman gets in there, <clears throat> I just like his versatility. I like his ability to switch. I like that he's the energy uh, and energy guy out there. I like his physicality. Um, I think he brings like a little a level of, of toughness out there that Cornette can't bring. But it's hard to argue that Cornette doesn't have uh, the lead, I guess, in that in that department right now, if you're just, if you're going with, you know, a third big. Um, but I, I, I do like Tillman. I mean, I, I think there is some untapped potential there. He can move too. And he's a good passer. He is good. Um, he can guard a lot of different positions. I think he does a pretty good job there. Um, but again, I, I think this is the thing is, will they allow it? Um, do they I need still to? I don't know. Yeah. It really comes down to how healthy Porzingis is going to be, I guess. So it kind of I know, but hand I, in I, hand. I think he's, I think he's, I think he's useful. Uh, Springer, on the other hand, had a tough game. He did. Poor guy. The refs Every, didn't do him what, any favors either. Why does everyone hate him? What did <laughs> he do? Know. I don't, I don't know anything about the guy except in the limited time I've seen him play with the Celtics. But it seems like everybody hates him out there. The yeah, rest, everyone hates him. He had a he had a rough one. He's probably the only guy who left there, uh, left tonight. Kind of like, I he's Damn the it. only Celtic in the minus column. Okay. Yeah. It, right. Which was hard to do. He's actually the only NBA. Do. He's in the only NBA player to end up in the minus column against the Wizards this year. Yeah, the refs <laughs> the refs clearly hated him. I did like the little bit of snarl there when he tossed whomever. 
Um, I thought that was funny. He shouldn't have got teed up for for like breaking up. Or they both got him though. I know he got the offensive know. foul, but then he then they both got teed up. Yeah, I, I like him. I like him. I like a little bit. What of do you nasty. like about him? I don't know. I like I like that he wasn't like, afraid there. The dude got up in his face and he's like, "You're not gonna hit me," you know. And he just like kind of <laughs> hugged him. He's yeah. like, "You're not gonna hit me. <laughs> it's gonna be fine." Yeah, yeah, he's he, he's a ways away. I did like, you know, we always we I'm always kind of torn. Like, let's go into the whole conversation on like, w- will you trust guys? Will you trust the bench guys in the playoffs? Mm-hmm. I believe Hauser's trustworthy in the playoffs, and not just because he hit a zillion threes tonight. I think defensively, he's better than people give him uh, credit for. Um, you know. I know a lot of people actually probably give him too much credit. All I'm saying is he's not that guy who's going to, who you're terrified. Um, Rod, you know, Rod's back. Well, Love it. Yeah. Uh, no, he's not. He's no, I, I, Hauser's in the circle of trust. Hauser's your sixth, I, and Hauser's I believe, your seventh guy. And I believe Pritchard is as well. Cause I watch him play and I think there's something a little different about Pritchard. I think he just handles his business better. I thought in the past Pritchard was a guy who, if he, he comes in, kind of in the Hauser vein. If he hits mm-hmm. a couple shots, great, because you brought him in for instant offense. But other than that, he's not doing you any good. I think he's doing you more good nowadays than than, than, than. – there's certain lineups and situations he's he might be tougher to play um, because people might hunt him out. But I think he does a good job defending one-on-one as long as there's not ridiculous mismatches out there. Um, mm-hmm. He does a good job keeping guys in front of him. He's a pretty good isolation defender. Um, and he's just done a good job. I mean, you saw the 12 dimes tonight. I think he's just confident with the basketball. I think he's earned his minutes too. Luke is the only one outside in that circle uh, who I still don't believe they're going to trust trust, but he keeps like doing everything. He keeps going out there and doing what they're asking him to do. I just don't know in the playoffs how it's going to go, but I, I'm starting to come in. Yeah. He's a spurts guy. He's a, he's the king of the stay ready crew, Luke. And, And in his defense, He's usually ready, um, but he's not. He shouldn't be a guy that you're. De- well, I'll ask you this: Is he is he the captain of the minutes. stay ready crew or the last man on the uh, in the circle of trust? I think like if you saw the Venn diagram, like <laughs> he's Luke, right Luke, on the edge. Luke would be in the middle. It'd be like Luke's the only of trust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's circle of trust, stay ready crew, crew, and they and then Luke's right in the middle, right there. So he he's 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 teetering the line. Um, yeah, but again, he's a spurts guy. He's going to come in and, you know, at the very, I think if he can just give you some quality minutes, like hold, hold the line type minutes, just don't, don't let the opposing team go on a huge run while you're in there. That's really all you can ask. I don't think anyone's like expecting Luke to like stretch the lead when he's in there. If we're talking playoffs here. No, I guess it really comes down to, it's a, it's as simple as the bench is the bench. Everybody's bench is the bench. It's as simple as which of those guys can get played off the court? I still think mm. I still worry for him a little bit uh, as being the only guy who could uh, get played off the court in the playoffs. Whereas the other guys, I think Pritchard at times might, I think Hauser will not, I, I you know, uh, assuming he didn't mess himself up too badly here, but again, you know, um, I, I don't think he's one of those guys. What happens though? I mean, again, not to be, you know, obviously the, losing to a starter is the nightmare. What happens if Hauser's legit down? Um, you know, certainly you can survive a round, two rounds without it. I can't expect that he's out, 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 out for months with a with an ankle tweak. Again, you're hoping it's a week or something or something small. But mm-hmm. um, that that wouldn't be great right now because I think he is definitely, as, as, as you said, number seven right now. And, like, I don't think he gets played off the court in the playoffs. I think his minutes are necessary in the playoffs. No, he's he's a part of that rotation, and they don't have a deep bench. So if he goes down, that's that's bad news for them. I mean, you get more Brissett, obviously, right, in, in that situation. But um, you know, he's a guy that they count on. You know, he gives you instant offense. He's he's he makes he stretches the court, obviously, and he he might just be coming. I mean, he, this would be the time to get hot going into the playoffs. I mean, shoot, you're going ten for thirteen from three. That doesn't just happen. Um, so if he's seeing the ball, if he's seeing the ball, it's like a baseball player. If he's seeing the um, basket well, um, yeah, that would be bad for that would be bad for him to miss any significant amount of time. I'm not concerned about that right now. 
Let's keep the vibe somewhat high, John. Celtics with a 30 I'm, plus point win. I'm keeping them high. Luke's Luke's just getting uh, you know, it's doing your due diligence. Gotta get the pictures taken, make sure everything's okay. He probably isn't gonna play tomorrow. We can probably assume that back to back. No need to to force him into that, but See if he gets back out there later this week. Maybe he misses Wednesday's game, which would be too bad because this is a, that's a good barometer type um, matchup. But he's big for them off the bench. They they are so top heavy that any sort of um, you know reinforcements they can get off the bench, um, you know they definitely need. Whether it's Al Hauser, you talked about Pritchard, that's a pretty thin bench, you know overall. Thin and, bench. Um, speaking of Al, I think we got a Al clip that we can. I'm Toss just waiting two. for you to wrap up, and I'll get I'll get to it. I'm sure, that was my segue. You could just play yeah, off it. I was waiting. Yeah, I was waiting. You know, about, I was, Al, this, that was me letting you take it. Al talking about uh, you know, kind of playing with Hauser, how he was feeling it, and what they were trying to do for him out there. I think about getting the ball to you know a hot hand but doing it within the flow of the offense how do you go about you know when he has five or whatever it might have been getting him more looks running plays for him stuff like that yeah i just think that we we just got caught up in just just playing our game what the defense gave gave us that's what we took and within everything we just did it and sam is the kind of guy that he doesn't care. Like he came in at halftime, he didn't care. He he just wants to play the right way. He wants to make the right play, and that's what he's gonna do. And uh, and well, Zan isn't and mad about it. See, all the shots that he took were were good shots. Here's the thing, I'm Zanis not mad is, about Zanis it. Zanis hates that he we took all those shots. wanted to see it. We all wanted to see it. We all wanted to see it. I want to. I'm like. You know, like an overprotective parent with their first child now. Like, I just want to eliminate any oh, helicopter in the parent. early going. Just in the – but here's – you're right there, right? You know, like you've made it. Like, it's over. You could forfeit the next 16 games. You know, like it doesn't matter. Somebody's got to play, John. They got <laughs> you know? Someone's going to take the court. Yeah. I mean yeah. – So, again, yeah, hopefully precautionary. Hopefully a game or two, he's fine. I don't think he'd friggin' – I don't think we're, you know, we're looking at a Kemba, you know, ACL. Jeez, you know, don't, tear. don't, don't say that. Don't say. Would have been better if we just tore the thing. <laughs> that's the right. That's the most right I've ever been, by the way, and and it's, I'm still getting haunted by the ACL thing. I couldn't have been more morbid. right about that. You were right, but it was uh, <laughs> it, was, it was morbid. <laughs> I was trying to point out what a terrible injury he had. Anyway. Yeah, you just don't say that. You don't say that word. <laughs> I wish, but it it morphed into I wish he tore his ACL, which is clearly yeah. not what I said. <laughs> we clipped it, and that's John's, exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah, John's. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of past point guards, we should get to the Isaiah Thomas segment later. We're gonna get into Isaiah. We're gonna get into a little bit of Kyrie with one of the most yeah. ridiculous buzzer beaters I've ever seen in my life. Totally. Holy crap! And like. Like he knew it was going in. Friggin' left-handed sky hook over a seven footer. My God, that was like a insane. runner, like a runner sky hook turnaround. Dude, it was that wild. was bananas. Uh, but looks, first off, he actually gonna, smiled. He looks kind of happy. We're gonna tell you tournament okay. time. Very exciting time. Get involved here with Prize Picks, uh, largest daily fantasy platform in North America. Uh, Easiest, most exciting way to play yeah. DFS. Uh, you just pick X amount of players, go over under on their stats, put them together, let her rip. Uh, and that's that. Uh, you know, and just watch the winnings roll in. Again, minimum of two players uh, that you can put together here. You can win up to 100 times your money uh, here. 100? With prize picks. 100. That is correct. And again, it's tournament time and it's starting and there's going to be yeah, you know, game be cool. after game after game. I know there's everybody who says, oh, I'll get into this after. He might just be an overs guy. Just go in there over, 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 over. Just Thursday, Friday. I mean, root so many games, so much action week? now. Yes, baby. And all you have to do is download oh, that wow. app. Use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to 100. Once again, download the app, use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to 100. Make sure that you check it out. And again, I, Jimmy, let me ask you, because a lot of people are like, it's the best two days of the year of the uh, sports calendar. I, I, You know, maybe like 20 years ago it was, 10 years ago it was. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. How, what's your vibe on uh, 
you know, the, uh, the uh, tournament, tournament these days. There yeah. was some – the conference tournament this weekend was actually exciting as hell um, just in terms of upsets and teams that are knocking other teams out with the unearned bids and getting in there. There was – I watched another one today. I watched a little Ivy League ball today. Oh, my AG. God. Did Br- Brown – the Ivy League Championship. Brown started the season six and seventeen, rattled off seven straight wins, got to the conference finals. Which again, the Ivy League didn't always have it. It used to just be you finish first and you're in. And they're taking on Yale, and they're up six with 27 seconds left. And it went like this. And they're they, but granted, they're 13 and 17s. They had no business to go in there. Yeah, 13 17. It goes like this. They're up six. 27, they give up, they concede an and one. So, boom, immediately it's a one possession game. Guy gets fouled, makes one, it's a four point game. They go up, they fall asleep on a screen. Greek guy, lefty for Yale, hits a three. Now it's a one point game. Um, inbounder gets fouled on the next possession, uh, misses both free throws. Yale comes down the court. They fall asleep. Brown falls this asleep. This is riveting, on by the way. Friggin' l- lay up at the buzzer to win it. They got outscored eight. To- they got outscored eight to one in twenty-seven seconds. It was really hard to watch. It <laughs> really is hard, hard to watch. watch. So wait, which team <laughs> won? The whole crowd was like the, the the favorite. The favorite. Yale. Yeah, it was bad. Well, I'm sick of Ivy League schools. Anyway, S- screw those kids. Yeah. Um, you asked me a question and then you totally didn't let me answer it, but I'll answer it anyways. Um, my like thoughts the on the tournament, I think like 75% of the rest of the country, like I haven't watched a second of college basketball this year, but I'll be an expert in college basketball by like Tuesday morning. Um, and I'll just pick a bunch of teams and, and I'll, I'll, you know, follow along this week. This is the best week by far. I kind of get bored of it because the major upsets will have they'll get a couple great major upsets this week on like you know two o'clock on a on a on a Wednesday on a Thursday or whatever that's just get you through the rest of the work day. Um, but other than that, I'm not a huge college basketball guy, so I'm probably the wrong the wrong person to ask. Um, it is it's fun. I mean, it's anytime you get something to watch in the middle of the week. We got games at the garden. We'll do it. Yeah, I know. I mean, that may, that's that's a new little a new little wrinkle on it. I'll see what those. I don't even know what those tickets are going for. Um, but I, I, I don't know anything about the teams this year. I know UConn's good. Obviously they're out, they've been good for a while, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't know to, like who the number one seats are going to be. So I'm an NBA guy, not a, not a college hoops guy. I actually think college hoops stinks. I'll just go out and say it. The talent is so much worse than the NBA college football. I love college basketball. I've never been a huge fan of just haven't, but I will watch the tournament. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah. it. No doubt about it. So again, if you're interested in getting into it, once again, we'll let you know. All you got to do is head over to Prize Picks. You pick your players. <laughs> why are we? Why are we? Hit, why are you picking on Jeff right now? Why are you picking on? Yeah, Jeff? you pick your players more or less. That's all you got to say. You see a number, you say yeah. more. Oh. You say less. I'm a more guy, so I'm just more, more, yeah. more. I want to see more, more points. More, more, more. Yeah, more. Grab a stat, say more or less, and that's all you have to do. Once again, promo code. CLNS, when you yeah. download the app, this is up the week to, to do it. $100. This is the week to do it. This is the week to sign up and check it out because, again, there's so much action. And especially, you don't know what you're, hey, you know, I want to follow along. I'm going to watch 100 games here. Yeah. Download the app here. Go to Prize Picks America's number one daily fantasy going. sports. That's what I like yep. about it. They're going like non, they're just, there's, you got picture in picture going. You got the four, four way screens going. Games are just all over. It's, overload yeah it would be so cool again, if like if there was like other than yukon there's actually providence is going to sneak in i think providence might sneak into the tournament this year. Uh, it's already middle. happened Great. if they did it's already happened if they did they selected oh, there. oh the selection on sunday already happened yeah it is sunday is providence in somebody in the chat tell me somebody will tell us yeah anyways they had a big win over over creighton a couple days ago people thought that was going to get him in Anyways, um, and that was talking college basketball. That was talking college basketball. Um, back in this game, sounds like they didn't get in. Oh, they did not. That's messed. Were they bubble? Yeah. They, they were in bubble anyone team. who was on the bubble. Anyone Patino who was on got, the bubble. Patino got snubbed too. Yeah, good. 
This is why college basketball stinks. I want to see. I want to see Patino. Oh, who cares? If there was good pa- college basketball teams in New England, I think more fans around here would be into college basketball. But there isn't any good college basketball other than UConn. And once in a while, yeah. PC. Um. Yeah. So uh, we are waiting for Bobby Manning to join in here and Where see if he can guy? add any sort of add any sort of basketball to the post game basketball show here. Let's talk uh, before Bucks. we wrap it up. And move on to it, but yeah, we do have a Bucks game coming, um, so we can talk about it a little bit. How much do you? How much do you? Um, do I want to what? No, how much do you want this one? I want it. There's not many games left that I want. Pretty much this one. This will suck, right? Yeah, this would suck. This would just put a sour taste in your mouth. Going like, it doesn't. I don't know. This would kind of suck. <laughs> You don't have you don't have any barometer games left. This is like the last one because you play the Bucks at the very end of the year. I can't imagine it's going to mean anything close to what this one will. There could be guys sitting by then. You got one more against OKC, but there's not a lot of big games left, and they've dropped some big games as of late. They want to show why they're nine games ahead of the Bucks on Wednesday. I don't need them to blow the Bucks out. I just need them to beat the Bucks. It could be a hard fought win. I don't care. I want to see Porzingis in there. I don't know what House's deal is now, but I want to see a full, fully healthy Celtics versus fully healthy Bucks, and I want the Celtics to win that game. And then I'm I've seen enough to say the Celtics are your, you know, sure. I already think they are the surefire team to come out of the East, but this would really kind of make me feel a little bit better about that. I want to see them win. Yeah, it's yeah. So again, it's the Bucks don't play. They played today. Um. And they don't play again. Um, Celtics have the back-to-backs, but then they've got a regular yeah, day off. Yeah, Tuesday so again, off. Doesn't rest shouldn't be an issue um, here. But in the same way that, like, you kind of really, really wanted that Denver game when both teams played their full squads yep. and yep. you didn't get it, and now you have to question and wonder, does it mean anything? Is that The difference is, be? yeah, I mean, I think the difference uh, is Denver you don't is. The Bucks here and have it, and you don't want to play the Bucks in your home. You really don't. I don't care if you're 10 points up. The last memory of playing the Bucks is getting is losing by 100. And again, I know you didn't take that one seriously and it was the second night of a back-to-back. But that right. sucked. If if you go out and get drilled, you don't want to see that. So again, no. and, and if you go out there and absolutely smoke them, you're walking into the playoffs, you know, chest puffed yeah, out. Chest puffed. You'll, go, you, you'll feel good anyway, but you absolutely don't want that to happen. You know, so it does matter, you know, just in terms of you know, their own psyche, but I think the way people are looking at this team entering it, because you really only had a couple of tests here down the stretch, right, Jimmy? And this is one of them. Yeah. I think the difference, uh, the Denver game, that was a toss up game. Like I, I, I wanted the Celtics to win that one, but I, I expected it to be a hard fought one. And I didn't necessarily expect the Celtics to win that game. I thought it was going to be very close. I expect the Celtics to beat the Bucks on Wednesday. So if they don't, that's going to be more disappointing for me than, the Denver game was because Denver is arguably the, you know, you can make the case that Denver is the best team in in the NBA. Nobody would fault you for doing that. But I think everybody at this point right now would agree. The Celtics are a more complete team than the Bucks. The Bucks have had a lot of issues this year. They fired their coach, you know, they, they brought in Lillard and, and maybe there's a little bit of growing pains there. Um, You know, they traded holiday away. They don't have a, a lot of depth either, in my opinion. So I, the Celtics should beat the Bucks, so it would be a lot more disappointing for me, you know, compared to what like the Denver. Uh, How about this philosophy? Uh, DJ believes. No, that's, nah. no, no. Screw them. Don't guys. show. Them, don't show. Don't show it to them. Treat it like a preseason game. Play a couple guys, couple quarters, and then just check out. No, I think there's something to be said for competition. You know, you want to. You want to. You want to give them what you have, show them, show them what you're made of. And, you know, it's, again, it's, it's a property game. It, it goes a long way for, for confidence. You see those guys again, too. Um, they, sh- the Celtics should play that game angry. They got embarrassed the last time against them. Um, and they want to, they should be able to show that they are the team to beat in the East um, after Wednesday. They should be able to prove that. Don't give the Bucks yeah. any reason to be confident if the Bucks play the Celtics in in the playoffs don't give them any more reason I understand, to be confident. I understand the psychology um 
of it. I understand. I'm thinking, with Derek. I, 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 like emotionally, that's how I feel. But I, I, I think there's some merit to. Don't even. Why resp- Why? Why? Why even treat them like they're on your level? They want to come in here and send you a message. Why give them the opportunity to feel good about themselves? Play right. two guys, rest three starters, and say this is how little this means to us. This might be your Super Bowl. We're all set. There's a bit of psychological warfare involved with that as well, and and I, I'd never really thought about it because I kind of wanted to just go in and you know beat the crap out of them and feel good about it. But I understand. I you know I, I I'm gonna know. let that's that just, marinate. That I'm gonna let that marinate for a little bit. It stinks from an entertainment perspective, and the show would be tougher. Yeah, it's like and why play to, why play 82 games? I mean, should we just play. We 50 would be games? able to glean more out of it if they play the starters. You win or lose, but again, it gives. It probably does more for the Bucks than it does for you. I think that's fair. It's like playing, it's like playing some like out of conference opponent and like losing early in the call. You know, like why why am I doing this to them? Well, the Celtics can use the film just as much as the Bucks can. I mean, they they want to work. What if the Celtics want to work on some things and go back and look at the film if they are going to meet the Bucks, you know, in the playoffs? They're going to have actual footage to look at. I mean, Missoula could use some of that. So you know, play your guys. Play your play. This is your team. You might see them in the playoffs. Freaking put your guys out there and see what you're made of. What are we hiding from? This is like uh, there's not like showing your stuff. Don't, don't show your stuff. Like, what is that? Just freaking play the damn game. Why give them a book? Why give them? Why give them more? Why give Whoa. them more to look at? What do you mean they can they can look at anything? They, it's not going to matter. I don't know. But everyone's, we all know. We all know what's going to happen. We all know what's going to happen. Everyone's coming around on them on it, except for uh, well, not everybody. A lot of people. Um, there we go. This one. What is there not to show? Right. I mean, like, what's the secret? What? What? Oh, don't let them know that Tatum's going to take the the shot at the end of the game. <laughs> like, I mean, he hit that. one today. The not first, the first end of quarter isolation shot I can remember in a long time. Drilled one, drilled a three. Yeah. Where's Bobby? Know. That would be great. Leaning on playing the bench. He's waiting on Tatum. Oh, God. I know. Yes, we did send him there. We did. We did. We did. The all important Wizards game. We going Atlanta? We are. Wow. That should be interesting. <laughs> Well, it's like a it's like a field trip, right? Because it's like back to backs, but three days apart, and so they're gone for so long. So, um, yeah. Oh but I like should, that. Why we don't we start? Why don't we start Tillman? Out. Yeah, exactly. So start yeah. your guys, and again, you know what? If it means not playing them forty minutes and and you know really trying to get the win, I don't know where you stop with it, but I think you're gonna play the guys. I want to see how they look against the Bucks team. You don't want to be front runners, John. You want to hide? No, it's game. just you can't hide you know, when the playoffs come around. It's it's, it's psychological. It's psychological warfare. They show up and right. You have you have five guys listed as questionable that everybody thinks is going to play, and then right before the game, all of them don't play. Yeah, it's a letdown. That's what the Celtics usually. I know it, it's a it would suck to watch, but it would mess with the Bucks. Okay. Well. We'll see. I don't know. I, I won't something. jump on that show if it happens. I'm not right now. I'm I, planning I, on being on that show. Right now, I'm planning on it. But if the Celtics, I think do it's that, a, I. I think it's a baller move. And yes, they play the Bucks late in the season, but that one's going to be absolute. That's going to be Svima High Luke Land. You know, like it's it's all right. the way. That's when you're going to get what you want, which is bench everybody. Yeah. Don't play a single. Yeah. People are saying don't play a single starter. It's not, but it would. It would really mess them. They they come in here. They're geeked up. They've rested for three days. They go on the road, and then Joe Joe submits his lineup card. It's got Svi and O'Shea in it. Yeah. Oh, be hilarious. Let's start the bench. Let's start the bench and lose by forty. That'll show them. Yeah. We'll really mess with them. Yeah. Or start the bench and friggin' make it a close game and have the Bucks won the battle, but they lost the war. Make them have to sweat out a win. And then there's the Thunder. The Thunder's a good one too. Thunder's a good one too. It's just it's Western Conference. Like the odds that you see them again. 
I don't know. Yeah, you could really mess with them. Beat the beat their full squad without your full lineup, and make them really. Or or they had, or, or they had one 30. of those last year. They had one of those last year where they 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 were. I think they were down like Tatum and Brown, or it was like one of the two played, and they were down a couple other guys, and they beat them, and it was it was an embarrassing game. So here we go. Here's a here's a question. If Bucks beat us, will you be worried, Jimmy? And I'll say I'll throw that question to John actually first. Tilapia TV thinks this is a stupid topic, by the way. Tilapia oh. TV. But anyway, right. go ahead. We'll talk about What's fish, the question? I guess. <laughs> um, if the Bucks win Wednesday, are you concerned? Or are you worried? If the Bucks beat a so, full... Celtics fully, fully stacked. Both teams are, are, are like playing their game. guys. Uh, yeah, look. If the Celtics give it their all and it doesn't go great, you'll at least start to think... That, oh, I wonder how this will go, you know, as opposed to it's easy to sit back, look around the league and be like, this team has no chance. It's especially easy to say it (laughs) when you're drilling them, you know, and you've played them already and you've, you know, you've turned them back. But reality is, if you look at the Eastern Conference, it is kind of interesting. Celtics haven't played a top team. It, it, with like and one and our top team that's had a, their full squad in the East and one in a long time. If you're looking at the top six lot, last time was a loss to the bucks, the Cavaliers you lost and they were shorthanded. Last time you played them. Yeah. Yeah. The Knicks, the Knicks have been uh, completely decimated by injuries. Haven't seen the magic in forever. Uh, Pacers. I think the last time you faced them, you lost also. Uh, so Sixers you don't have, have not, Embiid. Right, but you have not – right, exactly. You haven't played the Sixers with Embiid in a while. You have not had a lot of games where you can, actually, tru- this you is- can actually truly measure yourself up to the East right now. In fact, you've had way more against the West having a full lineup uh, you know, than, than you have Eastern teams. You have, not faced, you have not faced teams that you might face in the finals in, the, in, their, in their form. This is why I say it's a barometer game. The word isn't worried. I think the question was, would you be worried? I wouldn't be worried, but my I've said this before. My antennas would be up. My antennas would be up because now you start to hear, are they just front runners? You know, are they actually as good as their record is? Or are they just beating up on bad teams like the Wizards, like they did tonight? We know that they can run bad teams out of the building. We know that they can beat good teams too. But like you just said, John, fully stocked, both teams, like, we haven't seen it a lot recently. And so this is why Wednesday's game, I think, is an, an important one. So I want to see them win that game. I think I would be more confident if they won than I would be worried if they lost, if that makes sense. But my antennas would be up. Because I think once you get to the playoffs, it's a, it, you know, it's a whole new season. You're starting from fresh. The, the intensity gets cranked up on both sides. You're not really you're not thinking about any regular season games at that point. And I think we'll learn pretty early on if this team is clicking on all cylinders like they have been um, at parts of this regular season. Now that means Porzingis has to be healthy. So a lot of these questions hinge on health. Um, Porzingis is, you know, as as much as we all know, Tatum and Brown have been the one two. This team's gonna go far if Porzingis is in that lineup and he's and he's playing like Porzingis. If he's not. I think it, I think it's lacking. I think we see them fall back into patterns from last year when the ball sticks too much. Um, that's my concern. Even with guys like White and Holiday in there, I think Porzingis is the key cog in that machine, and so he needs to get back in there. Yeah, for the playoffs, um, It'd be great to have I, him Wednesday. But if they if he doesn't play Wednesday, I'm not really taking much um, out of the result if they lose because I need I need to see him with Porzingis in there. Yeah. Um, there's no doubt, um, that it makes sense, but at some point, like I do want to see Porzingis return. I also don't care if he doesn't play for another week or two. And I wouldn't be surprised if he continues to sit out. If there's anything, if the hamstring is legit, like if it's not 170%, especially an injury, like a hamstring, like why mess around? Like there's, there's zero reason. Like that's a classic re-aggravation injury. So, fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll let mm-hmm. Tilapia can pick the next topic. Go, pick it. Speaking of tilapia, yeah. I had some uh, made some salmon on Friday because it was Friday. I couldn't have meat, so I made some fresh caught. I don't yeah. buy the farm the raised Catholic stuff. boy. No, fresh caught Alaska. The yeah. Good stuff. Are you are you saying caught C O T? Caught like it was caught out of. Oh, it was caught with salmon. Okay, the fish isn't yeah. caught. I thought you were referring to the fish as caught. <laughs> no, it was salmon that was captured. <laughs> salmon that was actually captured. Yes. Did you by, capture uh, it? I did not. Although I've heard Alaska is beautiful. I'd like to get up there someday. I'd, I'd, I'd fish. I'd fish the rivers, catch some salmon. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't do the farm raised stuff. I don't trust it. Okay. So that was talking salmon. Yeah, that was talking salmon. Put a little rubs, put a little salmon rub on it from Trader Joe's. It's a really good rub they sell. Give a little, give a little. Little kick. They just all right, sneakerhead 24-7. They just destroyed Dallas. It's fully loaded. Who just at beat Denver today. You guys worry too much. I'm not worried. Just my antennas would be up. My antennas would be up. Wait, who worries? You saying that we worry. What are we worried about? If the Celtics lose Wednesday, I guess, or if that they're not they're not they're not what really what their record is, maybe. Oh, but is he talking about the Thunder? Like who 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 destroyed Dallas recently? Nobody. Dallas is playing well. Kyrie looks happy. I never thought I'd see the day. A smile. From Dallas Kyrie is playing since, since since the NBA started getting rigged. Um, Dallas has been playing pretty well. Well, since they traded our good friend Grant Williams, maybe he was the locker room uh, issue over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Like cod haddock. No, not cod. Caught. Caught. It was caught. It was caught. Cod is good. Cod is good too, but you know, cod's cod's, you know, that's just fish and chips type stuff. All right, chat, you guys get to vote. Do we wait for Bobby? My phone died. Is he saying anything? Like where is he? No. I say we wait five more minutes for Bobby. That would put us over the He's hour got mark. Two minutes and forty-two seconds. Don't say right. yes. We'll sit here in silence for those two minutes. I'll sit here. What about, in let's silence. talk. Let's talk Isaiah Thomas for a second. Do we have to? Yeah, because we brought him up on the show a couple games ago, and we said, "Should the Celtics sign Isaiah Thomas to fill their fifteenth spot?" Uh, you know. On the roster, and we, I think we all agreed that they that I think we said that they should, but they won't because of the quote unquote sideshow that would come of it. A couple of days later, the Suns, who are uh, a team the Celtics just beat the crap out of, but a Suns team that does have a lot of scoring, does have a lot of talent, and does have playoff, um, you know, dreams of advancing in the playoffs, they go ahead and they sign Isaiah Thomas to the 10th day. So, kind of validates the question that the Celtics theoretically could have or should have signed this guy. Now, would they have used him? Probably not as much because they have Pritchard. And the whole thing is, is it going to alienate Pritchard in a way that now fans are clamoring for Isaiah Thomas? Pritchard goes in there, misses a couple of shots. They want Thomas in there. They start screaming for Thomas like it's a tackle fall situation. He's better than that, right? So he goes to a Phoenix team. Maybe he can contribute, maybe not. But we know this guy can still play. It is kind of one of the great questions. I mean, I, I know that he's undersized and he's not a great defender, but he is good enough to be in the NBA on more than a 10-day contract. And it's been such a struggle for him to prove that over the last couple of years. So I hope that it sticks. I think the Celtics had their opportunities to sign him clearly. And I can't figure out why Brad Stevens um, didn't want to do it, but good for IT that he gets, he gets a, another opportunity in Phoenix. Well, yeah, I mean, what you'd said at the beginning that a team that has playoff, you know, or championship or, you know, some sort of aspirations, if if he's good enough for them, uh, you know, he's good yeah. enough for whatever. I mean, any any long term aspirations Phoenix might have had uh, about advancing deep in the playoffs. I think the Celtics have stamped those out the other night pretty effectively. I think despite right. their talent, they're they're they might be a tier below uh, there. They are. I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning is here for the IT signing. I also don't care. Um, 
I, I kind of, I had I the really debate in my head while we were talking about it before. I, there's a there's a world in which I would love to see it happen, and I like the idea of him coming in here. But I only want it if he comes in here with the full understanding that he's not here to play. He's here simply to ride their coattails to a championship, which he's going to get, at, you know, as as a as a debt to his service, you yeah. know, that he paid for being here, and that's simply it. I do not want to entertain the other stuff. I do not. I'm not deluding myself into believing maybe he can actually help like and if right. there's people out there who are i i don't want to do that and i don't know that that's what he wants to do i think he wants to prove he can play in this league he's a competitive guy i don't think he wants to, this isn't a guy who's 40 years old who's gonna say this isn't blake you know like i don't care right. if you play me once i'm here to hang you know uh, so if that's the case i just don't see the i don't think that's what he wants so that's the only way I think it works for this team. That, that's the only way I think it works for this team. I, I do think it's a little bit weird. I love the vibes, right. but the, the distraction level is off the chart. It, uh, yeah. And anything be. that you don't want to mess okay. with any, uh, the same way I kind of like said the Hauser thing annoys me a little, but I, it, it was a freak accident. I, I, you know, I don't, you know, it, you know, it, there's not, there's think, nothing. Yeah. There, they didn't do anything. The Celtics didn't do anything to, to make that happen, but that's how conservative I am with this team right now. I don't want to mess with anything like at all. Right. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look so, at this. so that, so that's it. I, I'd love to see it. What? Where'd that Dude, come from? What kind yeah. of, how, what a bad omen when our, when, it, when our, when it, when yeah. the owner of the company has had it with the content is this t yeah. is Tilapia so Nick's burner? It. Yeah, so sick yeah. of Isaiah. Wow. Tal tilapia might be Nick's burner. He doesn't like the topic. He was hammering us with the Tilapia account and then he finally just pieced out yeah. as Nick himself. What's up, Bobby? Oh my god, he made it. Whew. Welcome. Made it. What's up, my oh, friend? Oh wow. And the you guys tower on Celtics Wizard. Shout out to you guys. Huh? Yeah, I just said you guys struggling. did an hour on Celtics Voice. Shout out to well, you guys. No, we didn't. We did an hour on Fish and the oh, okay. tournament and my yeah. conspiracy theory about how the Wizards intentionally didn't step out of Hauser's way because they were pissed off that the Celtics were embarrassing them. Um, mm. And I argued with a few people in the chat. I shit on Luke a little bit. Um, oh, come on. John didn't, John didn't make any friends. Today. <laughs> John did not make any friends. Luke today. had like 12, 14 points tonight. He did. Tell us, tell us everything about it, and more. <laughs> well, this this just came easy. You saw the starting lineup. The Wizards were running in this one, and I actually saw Justin Champagny before the game and chatted with him for a little bit. And I figured he was going to play a little bit in this one with how shorthanded they were, but to see him in the starting lineup, you know, he's been in the G League all year or something. So and this is what we waited for: an hour and three minutes for Justin Champagne talk. I'm glad you guys waited <laughs> around too. Yeah, no, but that was the game, effectively, is their lineup being G League guys. And the Celtics still having Tatum out there, still having Holiday, who I thought was really good. Horford made some great decisions in this one. He continues to, you know, spur a movement offense. And the way they got shots for Sam Hauser was impressive within the flow of the offense. And Joe's talked that, about that a lot this year, about how get, they're getting it to the hot hand, but they're doing it within the flow of the offense. They're not forcing stuff. And right up until those last two, like he got double teamed on that uh, look right before he got hurt and he had to throw it away. And then that like, look in the corner, there were two guys flying at him and where he gets hurt. So the Wizards ramped up the pressure on him and unfortunately ended up with him being out of the game. I don't know if he would have got to clay, but he probably gets to Marcus and passes Marcus uh, possibly there uh, with a quarter and change left. So that's unfortunate. He'd be a pretty fitting guy to have that record too, you know, g given what he's been here and the shooter he is. So, and I'm sure people want to see Marcus displaced out of that, given what Marcus did to get there, taking like 22 threes in that game or whatever it was. So uh, that was about it from this game. Otherwise, we just got uh, Jason course everyone's wondering why he plays in a game like this and he just said moments ago the celtics know what they're dealing with he doesn't want to rest he's probably not gonna rest unless he's hurting and i wouldn't expect him to miss games down the stretch of the season until further notice unless they like I take mean, his jersey out of the really, locker room and 
it really shouldn't be. Walk him out of the building. Yeah, yeah, it really shouldn't be his choice. It's Jimmy, tough, where right? Do you are relative to the center of the screen right now. Mm. There we go. Yeah, mm. <laughs> you know I like it the other one. You know I like this, the one where it's like two and then Jimmy's one, got, one and two. He's are got you, the lead. He's are got you the dying? Lead. I was looking at the chat, so I was like, "What the hell?" Are you What's dying that, to see Tatum rest, Jimmy? Um, no, not really. I want I want every, all hands on deck Wednesday, and then I don't really care about much else after Wednesday. So yeah, I mean, I'd like to see him get some rest down the stretch, but I don't think tomorrow he rests. Yeah, That's tomorrow go ahead. Take the break. I want everyone. All, I want everyone to play Wednesday. John thinks that it would be like mental warfare to bench everybody. I don't. I don't. But but I think DJ or Jay, one of those two, put it in the chat. I hadn't thought about it until now, and it's an interesting concept. It is a great idea. I to mess with them. You yeah. you list everybody as questionable, and right before tip off, sit them all except for like Derek White and like whatever. That's it. <laughs> and I could see them doing something like that. So I I think it's going to be a big priority to rest guys down the stretch of the season. As you said, John, I think there will come a point where they put it out of Tatum's hands to have him sit out one of these games. And mm -hmm. it's interesting because they've deferred to him so much to this point, obviously. Like, I bet they would have loved for him to have sat out this game where everyone else was. And uh, he's only missed three all year. I, the weirdest thing, too, last week it was that Utah game where the game looked in hand. I forget exactly what the score was down the stretch, but he came in at the end and took, like, five shots, scored eight, ten points down that closing stretch against Utah. So – I I just think he wants to go out there and how much of his is what he's talked about, John, the love of the game, how much of it is him stacking up the stats late in this season, that MVP push that's on its last legs. Look, I, I hate doing this. I hate doing this, but like you don't think there's at least a fraction of Tatum that enjoys these nights where he gets where he plays and nobody else does. Like, great. <laughs> like I could just I can just Tatum all night. Hero long, mode. You know? Yeah. You know what prize yeah. picks had him at, John? What what thirty four and a half? Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh -huh. Is like it's like you hit the it's over. Just, I went that? under more more or less less. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Exactly. Oh. Yep. So, um, but yeah, exactly. Like, there's definitely a part of him where it's like, Wizards, no Jalen, no White, no put no 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 Tingus. Like, give me the ball. <laughs> I get to play the whole first quarter. Oh my God, this is amazing. Right. They, like they don't play defense. Imagine that. Like if Tatum, if, if Tatum and the Celtics played the Wizards and these were their actual teams, and, and they played 82 times, Tatum would average 47 points a night. Like this, oh, yeah. this is the this team is Two unreal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he played 26 he minutes, so. You would you would think he'd get to forty at least. Bobby, what's up with how's uh nothing. Nothing we knew. I snark I again you never know with Joe. He's so bad talking about the injuries. He said he's Adam gonna did get have an six assists tonight, by the way, Jimmy, just to let you know. Yeah, I know. But go go ahead, Bobby. On to a couple. I I usually I usually how's see guys if they get hurt like that mid game. He came out what the third. Usually they have an X ray done by the end of the game right at the right so, so the Joe's, fact that he's going for tests is a little bit like oh hey what and he wasn't around at all after the game you didn't see him anywhere post game uh jason what said are you he's saying what are you saying bobby are i don't know it's more serious Wait, or jason serious? said what jason said he seemed like he was doing okay uh when he saw him after the game so that's relieving uh it didn't look hard like he Walked off on his own power, right? Have you, yeah, I mean, you've sprained ankles a few times. Like, yeah, he walked rather than gimped off. He didn't get helped off. That yeah. definitely helps, you that, know. That guy on the Wizards couldn't put an ounce of pressure on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was less severe than whatever happened to Eugene well, Amaru either. Also, just and typically, no, happened. you're not getting. Yeah, you're not. You're usually just. You're usually able to get X-rays at the arena. That's the thing. And it's done, and they come back negative, and the coach always says negative, and negative, is, and they sit on the bench. Yeah, the way the way it happened, it wasn't like he went up for a rebound, and he came down, and you know, landed on a foot and rolled it. Like it wasn't that 
extreme of a of an ankle. He stepped on a foot, and, and it was like I, one of those ones where you step weird. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He stepped on a guy's foot. Those are awful. Worst. I know Scal was saying on the broadcast. Worst one of my worst sprained ankles I ever had playing basketball is landing on people's feet. On landing but on someone's foot. But he didn't foot. like those land on worst. his foot though. But he just off a jump shot. No, he stepped. It. He stepped. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Landing, yeah. landing is the is the is uh, going like going up, up for a rebound. Yeah. Is the worst. Totally. Worst ones. Oh God, reliving yeah. them so, so he, bad. He do that. That's a real loss too. Yeah, it's not gonna destroy your championship hopes if he's out for a while here but you would have to find something else off your bench that compares to him it's probably O'Shea right the shooting yeah. struggles with O'Shea continue in this one it's he's Romeo. so good on the offensive glass but he can't hit a three right now he got his he free throws throw. tonight fortunately but you would miss him especially as you're trying to rest guys down the stretch he's pretty important to these second unit starting lineups they've had out there he's Ben often the next man up alongside Horford. So uh, you would hate to see him miss serious time here. Hopefully he doesn't. But you'd need Shvee. You'd need Brissett. You'd have to stack it together with guys like that down the stretch. And if Shvee goes three or six from three in this one, at the very least he can step in there and shoot. Not quite the same player as Howard. It's not going to be Shvee. It's not going to be Shvee. You think it's Brissett? It's gonna be a, le- a little, a little Brissette and a little, le- a little more Tatum and Brown. That's that's the yeah. that's what you don't like is those guys will rest less, you know. Yeah. So, and it'll mess with your it'll mess with your offense. It'll mess maybe with your a little spacing. Tillman. It's gonna it's gonna create some bench rotation. Yeah, you where, played where big for a ton your, of this game. You're gonna go double big a lot. Um, you're gonna put Tillman's probably gonna jump in and you'll change your lineups and you'll change a lot about what you do. That's if you have to do it for a while. But again, who cares? What's if a while is three weeks? Who cares? Like you just don't want a while to be like four to six, six to eight that bleeds into the playoffs. He misses two to three weeks. It doesn't make a difference. You get him back from the playoffs and you're fine. People are catching up yeah. on your on your horrible takes from earlier in the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't upset, but I did say it was a little bit of karma because he was. Getting, That's how John he, started the show, Bobby. He said karma. They were embarrassing. They were embarrassing the Wizards, and and then the Wizards started to pay a lot of attention to to Sam, and they didn't want to be embarrassed anymore. And then they intentionally didn't get out of his way. He should have sent me to the Wizards locker room to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, they intentionally didn't move their foot. They didn't move their foot. I I saw some feet move a little bit, but yeah, you're right. I mean, that guy was hurt, John. It wasn't just a tanking move here by the Wizards, right? Sitting the whole team. I didn't like it. Yeah, no, I mean, they're a mess. Uh, Bobby, anything else here? So let me – we did a little bit of the Milwaukee stuff to to play or not to play, but anything else? It looks like Porzingis could be back tomorrow, I feel like. They're splitting the back-to-back here. Mm. He did a long workout on the floor before the game. He practiced last week. He traveled too. I think that's, that's a good, good sign here. Uh, so it looks like they're ramping him up here. I did actually hear yesterday that this isn't anything that's a long-term concern. It's more that they're ramping him up slowly back from the injury here, and they're just taking their time with it. Uh, so I don't think it's anything extensive. And he was you know, here around the team, long workout at the game here. I think worked out this morning too. So I think he's in a good spot here. Uh, Joe didn't explicitly say he's going to be back tomorrow. He said anything's possible there. Um, but it looks like he's progressing pretty well. And, and you just want to see him out there at this point. I don't think anyone was panicking, but it seemed like they were resting him at the tail end of that trip. And then he misses the second game, too, in that back-to-back. And then he's out at home, too. And now it's five games he's been out. And it's like, what's going on there? Because he's missed a lot of games this year, but most of them have been the back-to-backs, maybe one night off here or there with a little bit of an ailment. This is becoming one of the longer stretches he's missed this year. Uh, so you'd love to see him out there tomorrow uh, if you can. Because you have to think, you predict Tatum's going to be out tomorrow, John. Uh, you have to think Holiday might be too as they try to manage him. And Horford certainly on the back-to-back. So if it's a Jalen or Zingas, I don't know, white thing tomorrow, that wouldn't be surprising. Huh. Facts, my dog. Um, Other than that, Tillman, starting to see him more consistently here. In this game, he posts a positive. I think last game he had a little bit more of a difficult time winning those minutes with the double big. He went double big a bunch in this one too. He's trying to get those threes up. 
Uh, I don't know. I think he was two or four coming into this one, but he goes 0 with three tonight. So he's two with seven, I believe, from three so far. But they're going to have him shooting, it looks like, when he's playing the four. You got to find a way, John, if he's going to play in the playoffs, to have him be a threat offensively. And it looks like he's trying to figure out where that's going to be. If he's at the four, he's not going to be screening and rolling. He's not really a shooter. So he's kind of in no man's land out there in those double big looks, unless he is setting the screen and finishing around the rim. So it's going to be interesting to watch. And I've said this from the start, John, Cornette's much better offensively than him. So that's the huge advantage he has on him right now. You remember I did pull up Cornette's offensive numbers and they're not as good as they necessarily look, but you're right. You have, if you're talking about what Cornette does, it's the lob threat outside of that. There's really nothing else. Um, so, but he's, he's, he's good around the basket and he's tall. And sometimes in those lineups, he's able to just be the guy who goes up and over the top of them, but that's fine. I, I don't think that there's that Tillman is Tillman has a little wiggle to his game. He can post. He's got a nice touch around the rim. Uh, he can score inside if he needs to. Um, you know, he's not super athletic. He can't get up. He's not crashing the glass as much as you would necessarily like from that position if you're going to bring in some extra beef, but neither really does Horford. Horford, of course, just shoots. T- Tillman's thing is really defense, 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 defense. So the fact that he can switch, the fact that he moves as well as he does for a guy his size, that's really what you're getting in there uh, with that. But he does some things. He just can't shoot. But, of course, neither can Luke. So you're really just – you have the lob thread in there versus a guy who might be able to catch it around the rim and do a little bit of work there, which he just doesn't really need to do. And I know Tillman can rebound. I'm just saying he's not a force necessarily on the glass where he's just like Kada when he's out there, he's giving you legit offensive rebounding at a very high level. That's impacting the game. Tillman's fine. You know, when he's in there too, but uh, you know, I think he can, I think he can absolutely um, contribute offensively as well when he needs to, because I, I like him. I think he's got a nice little touch there. Bobby, what did Tatum say? Because you did stick around for Tatum, correct? Do you have anything important to say? Yeah, I talked about the rest stuff. I thought that was the biggest thing. We've hit on the rotation things, John. Again, tonight, obviously no ground, but he plays the whole first quarter. They've done that now in, I think, three games recently. Uh, the Denver game, uh, the Phoenix game, and then, of course, the Utah game as well. Uh, the the ground was out for as well. So they get into that more often. I've asked Joe about it a couple times, and the way he answers it, it doesn't seem like it's a big thing. You know, some of it's the hot hand. Some of it's you know where they want to position him there. But we've talked about that a little bit. Of, is he going to play the whole first quarter in the playoffs? Can he be super involved early in those games? And we've seen when he plays the whole first quarter, he's able to get going early and often. He's able to get those touches. And then, you know, that might flow into more involvement for him throughout the game. But the first has usually been Jalen's quarter. So it's a balance there. And I think we've liked how aggressive and how good of a tone Jalen sets in those spots. And, you know, Tatum gets his little rest early and then comes back in for you know, a full go in the second, especially in the playoffs. So, I think three games recently, they've done the normal rotations. Three games, they've gone with him for full quarters in Topin these games, part of it being Jalen out. Jason talked a little bit about that being the case tonight. Uh, but it's a feel thing, Jason said, and uh, they're going to have those conversations in games. I don't know how much it matters, John. I think it matters a little bit just because you want to hit, hit your rotations right in a playoff game and not just settle on what you usually do, which is pulling him out five minutes in and, Maybe he doesn't have any points five minutes into the game, and then he has to sit three minutes after that. And now you're eight minutes into the game, and Tatum has zero points. So it's going to be interesting how they balance that into the playoffs. Yep. Um, Jimmy, why are you sad? I'm not sad at all. I'm probably a little tired at this point because the Wizards can do that to you. But other than that, I'm Yeah, this was a tough one, Bobby. It It was tough to sit through the game and then tough to sit through the first hour and three minutes of this show but we did it i'm <laughs> glad we did because we did get your insight we you should really thank home. everybody who did too we really yeah, we thank every, everybody we always thank everybody who Definitely. did the loyalists the ogs the people who think we're clowns um yes. that's Shout fine. Out to the haters. Yeah. i think you you set a good tone early john i mean you need something like that captivate <laughs> the crowd yeah get the people fired I mean, up and, was... and angry they hate watch the last hour yeah, exactly. I got I'm the I'm the WWE heel. I just got up on the friggin' top rope and I just started yeah. taunting the crowd at the beginning. Uh I picked a few fights, you know, 
it got a little blood in the water here, and that was it. And that's that's what we had to do to keep it going. I'll throw this in too quick before we get off. I know you guys probably talked about it a little bit too. Not only is it a bummer that Isaiah is not coming to Boston, we, I think we all want to see that. Phoenix signed him now after they came to Boston last week. <laughs> kind of done it before. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I'm just glad he got signed. The guy was dropping points left and right in G League and everything. So I'm glad he glad he got it. I signed. think I saw he's gonna get 138,000 for the 10 games. Well, I'm not like poor I'm not saying like poor Isaiah Thomas needs to get paid. I just think he's worked hard and I think he deserves to be on a roster. I'm not worried about his financial situation. I'm sure he's doing okay. Yeah, that's pretty good though, after being out for two years, get that little check for ten yeah. games. Check out nice. first of the floor afterwards. I'm sure they're going to talk about actual basketball for 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 a little while. Sure. So make sure you check them out. Uh, our 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 Aussie buddies who always bring it every single night. Um, Thanks, go Blorp. check them out as well. Yeah. Thanks, Blorp. Thanks, everybody. And tomorrow um, we announce our our tournament, our our garden garden report. Garden report bracket. Bracket. Yes. It's live right tomorrow. Now? And, John, how can people vote on this? How will they be able to vote on We're this? We're going to. We'll put it out on Twitter, um, and we'll leave it there uh, throughout. What's and the then we will, can and then we'll, we'll post it on the chat uh, in both shows awesome. and accumulate votes. Uh, we'll tally them all up. Uh, at the end of the week, we will whittle it down from, six to, uh, from 16 to 8 uh, this week. I have a uh, feeling. And, uh, I have a feeling the Nasus. I have a feeling the Nasus is going to take it. We don't he know. The There's a debate right it. now whether it's four brackets with four seeds or two eight seed brackets. I like two eight seed brackets personally. Because you want you want one seeds to be one seeds and eight seeds to be eight seeds. Yeah, I think that's that's how you get Dark Horse coming coming up yeah. the ranks. Okay. You get I think we should throw in the old stuff too. You got to give those guys a chance, but. We'll see. No, we guys, and we removed a lot of the old stuff. Yeah, that's why we only have sixteen. Well, phenomenal we was just stuff. such a forces force us to person. stay creative. It forces us to stay creative, Bob. But we got to yeah, keep. We removed a lot. Things. Like Brockton, Brockton Wi-Fi is out. Jimmy's having a Brockton Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm Brockton right Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> yeah. Brockton Wi-Fi is never actually out. Just when you think it is. Yeah, yeah, we 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 moved it. Yeah. By the way, did you guys yeah. see Jaden Springer getting into a little fight tonight? We saw Jaden oh, Springer oh. having a lot of difficulties Why tonight. Why doesn't yeah. anybody like him? Yeah. What's his deal, Bobby? Yeah. Springer. That was weird. He was in for like 30 seconds and there was a fight going on. So I don't know. Does that add to your theory, John? They a little tense out there on the wizard side. A little offensive foul start a scuffle. So I don't Maybe know what happened there, but theory. like I said, I definitely think like they didn't give a crap about all game, the entire game, until the Celtics were started to embarrass them with those threes, and then they cared like one percent, but really they didn't care at all. Yeah. So, uh, you know, no big deal here. Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap. We are back tomorrow with the uh, Detroit Pistons. I know. I'll be on Wizards Pistons. Back to back. We're gonna do it. So we will see you then, and we will announce our tournament uh, and uh, release nice. our bracket tomorrow of Garden oh, we should isms. We yep. should do it like they did today. We should announce them one by one, John, on the show. Oh, that's very Kinda interesting. Like that While we're waiting for Bobby to get out of the locker yeah. room an hour and We're going to need to kill an show. hour again tomorrow. It's Tatum's fault. We all know it. Oh, always, always. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Wait, Amit's got an outro for us, I think. No, he doesn't. He said he was going to work on an outro. Man. He had a phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. <laughs> Poor for doubt. I, don't, I think it's an outro. <laughs> That did not sound like a chair. It was a freaking chair. It does sound like a chair.